we're given f of x comma y equals sine of the quantity x plus y, where x equals s to the fifth t to the sixth, and y equals 5s minus 6t. We're asked to find the partial derivative of f with respect to s and the partial derivative of f with respect to t, and we're asked to write the partial derivatives only in terms of s and t. So because f is a function of x and y, and x and y are functions of s and t, we'll have to apply the chain rule stated below in order to find these partial derivatives. Let's go ahead and find this first partial derivative on the next slide. So to set this up, the partial derivative of f with respect to s is equal to the partial of f with respect to x times the partial of x with respect to s plus the partial of f with respect to y times the partial of y with respect to s. So we'll find these partial derivatives, simplify, and then make sure we have a function in terms of only s and t. So the partial of f with respect to s is equal to the partial of f with respect to x, so we want to differentiate the sine of the quantity x plus y with respect to x treating y as a constant. So the partial derivative would be cosine of the quantity x plus y times the derivative of x plus y with respect to x, which would just be one. Again, we're treating y as a constant. And then we have times the partial of x with respect to s. So the derivative of s to the fifth t to the sixth with respect to s, we'd have five s to the fourth times t to the sixth. And then we have plus the partial of f with respect to y, derivative of sine of the quantity x plus y with respect to y would be cosine of the quantity x plus y times the derivative of x plus y with respect to y, which would just be one. Again, we're treating x as a constant. And then we have times the partial of y with respect to s, treating t as a constant. So the partial of y with respect to s would just be five. So let's first simplify this. Let's write this as 5 s to the fourth t to the sixth times cosine of the quantity x plus y plus here we have 5 times cosine of the quantity x plus y. Now we need to make a substitution for x and y using our equations here. So the partial of f with respect to s is going to be equal to 5 s to the fourth t to the sixth times cosine of x is s to the fifth t to the sixth plus y, so we'll have plus 5s minus 6t. Then we have plus 5 times cosine again of x plus y, which we now know is s to the fifth t to the sixth plus 5s minus 6t. Notice now we do have our partial derivative with respect to s only in terms of s and t. So we could leave our partial derivative in this form here. This is perfectly fine. But notice how we could also factor this. These two terms do have a common factor of five cosine of the quantity s to the fifth t to the sixth plus five s minus six t. So we could also express it in the form five times cosine of the quantity s to the fifth t to the sixth plus five s minus six t and then times, if we factor this out of the first term, we'd be left with s to the fourth, t to the sixth. If we factor this out of the second term, notice how we're only left with one. So it's not necessary to factor it, but notice how it does look more simplified in factored form. Either of these two forms would be acceptable. Now let's find the partial of f with respect to t. The partial derivative of f with respect to t is equal to the partial of f with respect to x times the partial of x with respect to t plus the partial of f with respect to y times the partial of y with respect to t. So again, we'll follow the same process. We'll first find these partial derivatives, simplify, and then make sure the function is a function of s and t. So for the partial of f with respect to x, we already found that's the derivative of the sine of the quantity x plus y with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which would be cosine of the quantity x plus y times the derivative of x plus y with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which would be just one, times the partial of x with respect to t. Differentiating here with respect to t, we'd have six s to the fifth, t to the fifth. And then we have plus 
the partial of f with respect to y is the derivative of sine of the quantity x plus y with respect to y, which would be cosine of the quantity x plus y, again, times 1, and then times the partial of y with respect to t, or so that would be negative 6. Differentiating here with respect to t, treating s as a constant. Let's simplify. Partial of f with respect to t is equal to 6 s to the fifth t to the fifth cosine of the quantity x plus y. And then here, because of the negative 6, we'd have minus 6 cosine of the quantity x plus y. Now we need to make substitutions again for x and y, just like we did before. So the partial of f with respect to t is equal to 6 s to the fifth t to the fifth times cosine of x, which is s to the fifth t to the sixth, and then plus y, which is plus 5s minus 6t. Then we have minus 6 times cosine. Again, x plus y is going to be s to the fifth t to the sixth plus 5s minus 6t. Now again, we could leave our partial derivative in this form here, where notice how we do have a function of s and t, but we can also factor this because we have a common factor of 6 cosine of this quantity here. So let's also show it in factored form. The partial of f with respect to t is equal to, again, factoring out 6 cosine of the quantity s to the fifth t to the sixth plus 5s minus 6t. If we factor this out of the first term, notice how we'd be left with s to the fifth t to the fifth. If we factor this out of the second term, we're factoring everything out, which leaves us with a 1, so we have minus 1. So again, we can express the partial derivative of f with respect to t in either of these two forms. I hope you found this helpful.